So now in this video we come back to the NPN bipolar junction transistor emitter follower. So we have a trim pot here. The uh, power supply is set to 5 volts. The trim pot can set a voltage anywhere from 0 to 5 volts since we're using 5 volts. And uh, we'll see that uh, we have uh, somewhere about 2.5 volts since it's halfway. And uh, the output which powers the LED is about 0.6 volts less than that. Um, it's a voltage follower because uh, whatever I set the input voltage to, the output voltage will follow, but since it's an NPN bipolar junction transistor, it's actually an emitter follower. It follows about 0.6 volts less right there. So not a perfect uh, voltage follower, uh, but pretty good. So in any case, the uh, signal from the uh, trim pot goes to the base of the transistor. That's the measurement we're taking. And uh, it transfers to the emitter, but that signal can't provide the power. It'll get thrown off. So instead, the collector passes current as needed to maintain that 0.6 volt difference right there. So the trim pot doesn't have to provide power, the transistor does. That's what makes it so useful. Even though the voltage don't line up perfectly, you just have to be aware that the output voltage is gonna stay about 0.6 volts less than the input voltage if you use an NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as an emitter follower. 